everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share uh, my finish swap for someone on um, Facebook. And uh, her name is Alicia Holloway, I believe. And she's the admin for the group, uh, gosh, I can't even remember, guys. I'm sorry. Is it A&M Paper Crafting? Something like that. Anyway, uh, it's a Facebook group for all uh, crafters, and they encourage you to post anything that you uh, create on there. So I was asked if I would do a swap, a Christmas swap, and the swap consisted of... Uh, five store bought items. It's kind of like my um my not so secret Santa swap I used to host. So it was five um store bought items, crafty items, uh four sets of embellishments, three in a package, and I did more than than three in a package on some. It was a tag. It was a card, and it was an ornament. So I want to share with you, and she wanted me to do bag toppers. You guys know that I'm horrible at bag toppers, but I did create some, and I mean, they're okay. I don't really do bag toppers on my on my things. I For me, I like a clear bag, and I like to be able to see through the clear bag. And even if it doesn't have a bag topper, I like to look at the content that's inside, but don't get me wrong. When I receive a swap or, or happy mail or whatever that has bag toppers, some people are really talented at that. I'm not one of those people and they look really pretty. So I do like them, but I just don't do bag toppers too much. Anyway, I'm going to share my swap with you. These I'm not going to open up to share them with you, but we had uh, to do five uh, store-bought crafty goodies and um and she the lady likes shabby chic so i really couldn't find any christmas paper that was shabby chic but i did have these uh printouts and uh, to number and these are just little uh, christmas ornaments that i cut on my brother's scan and cut printed them out and then scanned them into my brother's scan and cut and cut them out and, and they only, they're only adhered with a little piece of double-sided tape. So if she wants to take them off and use these, she can absolutely take them off and reuse them. So that was why I didn't glue the whole thing down and all of that. But these are numbered one through uh, five. And even though I, got, I bought more than five items, um, I only numbered five of them. So these are the crafty goodies that I purchased for her. And I hope that she likes them. Uh, another thing we had to create was a card and I did share this snow globe card with you guys and it has that angel that I've been using throughout my swap and uh, and it is a snow globe and I believe I want to say it's a tattered lace snow globe die that I used. I'm really not sure, guys. It's been a while since I created it. Anyway, it's a snow globe. Maybe my friend Jackie sent me this. I'm not too sure. I think my friend Jackie sent me these. So they might be a tattered lace. And I have bought these uh, six by six boxes for cards. And they do have a clear lid. And I've said before that I like to be able to see through the, the, the boxes or the packages because I like to see all the pretty stuff and all the sparkle and all of that. So all I did was tie it with this pink um, tool. It's a very soft tool and it's got little gold stars on it. I did add some shred and this shred I got from Ramona when Ramona joined my Christmas swap a couple years ago and I saved all the shreds. So I used it here because it was pink and gold. So I love the way that came out. So there's the card. We had to make a tag. Here is the tag. Now, I didn't put a bag topper on the tag because the bag toppers that 
I have have the handle on them and they're going to be, you know, it makes them a little long and I don't want to have to bend it to put it into the, the priority mailbox. So I, I decided opted not to put a bag topper just in this one because this is the longest package. So here is my tag again. Uh, spotlighting that angel from Tattered Lace. I love, love, love this image. This was gifted to me by my friend Jacqueline. And they, there are coordinating dies that go to this uh, image. And there's other things, uh, wings and stuff like that, like a wing wreath. But I don't have the dies to it. And uh, you can find them probably on eBay or something like that. But it's going to be hard to find. So, I mean, they don't, they're just sold out now. This joy right here, I created it a couple years ago, and I hung this little ornament down here, and I just cut punched a little hole and added it to the word joy hanging from there, and it says joy to the, it says joy, and then right here to the world. So I love the way that came out. Anyway, I really love the way the tag came out. So this is the tag. So my main... My main thing was that angel image or theme. I also picked up some goodies uh, for her. And I just put them in this clear, again, see-through organza bag. I love the way it looks this way. That's just my personal preference. And uh, let me take this out. I picked up some more of those beads that I had gifted to Mika in the swap so I picked up a strand of the pink and the white this is a Christmas swap but um, you know these can be used anytime and these are I don't know what these are I picked these up at Walmart guys so that's where I got these they're very very nice and then these right here came from Walmart as well and these are Jesse James beads this one's turned a funny way, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it just turned funny. Oh, there it is. So anyway, there we go. These are Jesse James beads in the pale pastel colors because I think she likes shabby chic. I'm not real sure. I hope I got it right. And then I picked up these little um, cherubs from Hobby Lobby. I think these are really cute. So I picked up a package of charms. And then I picked these up too at Hobby Lobby. And I think these are really, really pretty. And these are little cameos that she can take apart and use them on her projects. So these are just little extra goodies that I picked up for her. And I put them in this little uh, organza pink um, bag. And I'm not going to even tie a bow. I'm just going to just give it one so it won't open up. So that's going to her. Oops. Almost dropped it. And then I also, um, I buy a lot of um, different types of gems. And I like real tiny ones. So this right here are one of my favorite gems. My all-time favorites. And I bought... In bulk in a variety of colors so I gave her like two little uh, containers or two sides to the container in the colors and then these are the diamond dots that I really love also to use as flower centers and stuff like that so I included that in this um, little box and I did put it in a bag just in case it opens up nothing will spill so I included that for her. And now let me share with you uh, my handmade items. And my handmade items, I created these, um, I believe, last year. And I didn't do much with anything that I created because of the pandemic. I didn't host a swap. I didn't do anything because I didn't want to open up my family to what was going on. And uh, so I created these and kind of just put them away in my embellishment drawers. And I love the way these uh, came out. And these are poinsettias and you have petals that are open work and then some that are not. And I even think that I added other petals and then I added the rose gold stamens in the center. 
this uh, bag is six, I think it's six and a half inches. Yep, it's six and a half inches wide, the bag that I have them in. And my bag topper is not that wide. So in order to extend my bag topper, I actually got a one of these snowflakes that I picked up last couple years ago from uh, Walmart. And they're very thin. So I had the perfect color that matched. And I split it in half right down the middle. And uh, the centerpiece right here is on foam. And I cut, trimmed it a little bit on the sides because I wanted to wedge the half of the snowflake in between the base layer on the bag topper and the layering piece. So that's all I did. I added one to each end. And then I added the, um, I had an extra flower. So I added it here. And then this word jingle is an Anna Griffin uh, Christmas die set that I have. So there's one. The back is in pink. The back of the bag topper. Because this is not the typical bag topper. Uh, I have to cut two to create a bag topper. So um, I see glue. Like a glue web on here. So I had to create two. So I did the back in pink. The front in gold. And the layering piece. I did it in Christmas paper. Not Christmas paper. But that you wrap gifts with but a designer paper that was Christmas th themed so there's one and then the other one are these and I created these uh, not long ago and I did share them on a video but here's how I packaged them again because the bag is so wide and another thing that I did to adhere them to the backing I didn't want to add glue and for it to rip whenever the recipient took them off, I actually pinned them to a little satin bow, which are these that I picked up from uh, Walmart. And I adhere I pinned them to that. And then I just added a little dab of hot glue to stick the bows down. So she can actually take these off uh, with just opening the garment pin. But if she wants the bows, there's just a little dab of glue and she'll be able to take those off and use them as well. Again, here is the split snowflake. You can get a better view right here. The word jingle and then a holly leaf that I d created last year. And it does have the little um, uh, clear kind of like raindrop acrylic uh, flatbacks. And then I, what's here shining is... The glitterific and the green. So that's what I did there. I kept them very simple because I'm not really that I'm not really good at bag toppers. Here's another one of the embellishments that I created. Again, I did share these already, but this is how I packaged them. I just pinned them to the paper. Again, there is the same bag topper with the split no snowflake and the hollies right here and the word jingle. And I'm using different layering pieces, but they're all from uh, from the same paper pad. So there's that one. And then the last ones that I just created yesterday were the snowflake rosettes. And this is a Tim Holtz rosette die. Where's the package? It is uh, this one by Tim Holtz. This is the one that I used to create the snowflake. And um, then I added one of the acrylic snowflakes in the back that are very, very thin. That's what I added to the back. And then I just added some of the ephemera from, um, what's the name? The ephemera from, I think it's Christmas Sparkle. There's no name on here, but I think that's what it is. It's from this ephem ephemera that I added uh, the little banners and the little hearts and the peppermints. That's where those came from. The angel is, again, the tattered lace one that I have been using throughout. I just kind of scaled it down and uh, made it small enough that I could add it to the center of the rosettes. And that is all my handmaids apart from the... The box. I'm also sending her the box that, again, featuring that tattered lace angel. 
And I did say that I was going to antique it, and I went in with some antiquing um, wax all around the um, the clay pieces on here. And there again is the inside of the box. These two ornaments I had already created, and this was going to be the smaller ones, the original ornaments I was going to send her. But then I decided to go ahead and just create the bigger ones. But I'll share these once again. I'm going to go ahead and include them because they match the other ones that are there. So I'm just going to send her these. And if she wants to, she can actually take the picture out of these and add pictures of her children or her fur babies or grandbabies, whatever she happens to have. She will have the option of just uh, punching these out these snap out and she can replace that picture with something else if she prefers but this is the ornament set that I created for her we we're only supposed to create one but I just wanted to do something a little extra special for her for Christmas anyway guys thanks for watching I hope that this inspires you and I hope that it gives you ideas uh, when you're creating a uh, happy mail or swaps or anything and please anything that you saw that I created if you want to recreate it i don't have a problem with it if you can sell it if you can make a dollar on it then you make your dollar i don't have a problem with it thank you so much for watching everyone and god bless bye